I ain't even gonna hold you niggas, bro. This a motherfucking sad day for me, man. I, I really cannot believe that Bandana P is dead. I just can't believe that shit, bro. Prodigy? Like, y'all niggas took Prodigy from us? Come on, my nigga. We talking about these niggas is teenagers. Him and Havoc holding this shit down from the jump in the early 90s. These niggas was around when Onyx was around. They was around when Big was around. When Pop was around. All the way up to Nas and Jay-Z and 50. Like, bro, come on, B. We got to keep it real. When you niggas start talking about Big and Pop and Big L and Big Pun, mention Prodigy, bro. I don't give a fuck, man. Half the time, he ain't even fucking rhyme or was on track. And it was just like the shit he was saying was so crazy, so authentic. We talking about niggas who's literally four foot nothing walking around talking the toughest shit in the world. Shook once changed the game. As time goes by, an eye for an eye. Like, what? Stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. I know some of you niggas ain't fuck with Juvenile Hell, but y'all niggas not gonna sit here and act like when the infamous drop, it wasn't like, oh shit, this shit is fire. Then they turn around and smack this in the face with hell on earth. What? Come on, son. Come on, son. Then they turn around like, and they were consistent. They dropping shit every two years. After hell enough, they coming back with a fucking murder music. Like, oh shit, well you can hear the growth in them. You can hear they getting older. But they, it's just like they still fire. Fire. Then they turn around and drop infamy. You got to get away. Like, come on, son. Stop. We talking about niggas who so hood, so thug. Like, there is no... It's not a commercial bone in these niggas' bodies. Period. They sound like they straight from the goddamn fucking QB park bench. Let's be serious. I don't... This nigga prodigy is not even from Queensbridge Projects. You know what I'm saying? He's not even from there. The way he rep QB... Was crazy, my niggas. It, I, I feel like it really put QB on the map. They was already there. But he was like an official one. I fuck with CNN. But no, Mob Deep to me, top three, top five groups all the time. In my opinion, we all grew up on different shit. You know what I'm saying? Real rap. I was out here actually talking to my man earlier and shit from Memphis. He ain't even fucking knowing shit. You know what I'm saying? That uh, uh, what happened and shit. But he was on some shit like, oh, I ain't really rock with him crazy. Not, not, I was just like, wow, okay, I get it. It, it may be a reason, maybe it is, you know what I'm saying? All I know is this, bro. What H and I see, remember that's we going diamond. Hold up, bro. Now, nah, fuck that shit. Y'all gonna act like Keep It Thorough wasn't that shit? Everybody was playing Keep It Thorough when that shit came out. You crazy? And I'm gonna show you how real they motherfucking music get, you know what I'm saying? Real shit. I was actually thinking about this shit earlier. This is how deep Mob Deep goes in hip-hop and how influential these niggas' music is. So these niggas dropped Quiet Storm. Hold on. Don't act like you niggas wasn't going crazy when Quiet Storm dropped. That shit was fire. That shit, they just ran through the offices, pee upside down. Uh, that shit was fucking fire, right? Everybody was rocking Quiet Storm. My nigga, remember the Quiet Storm remix with Little Kim? Like, even that was fire. That was so fire, it led to CNN doing Bang Bang with Foxy Brown. And we already knew that Little Kim and Foxy did not rock with each other. You feel me? It led to that. That's what led to the whole altercation outside. And then Mano chasing Little C's. And like all that shit stemmed from the fucking Quiet Storm remix, my nigga. Like it all, all that controversy stemmed. The, the, the CNN versus Junior Mock. All that stemmed from Mob Deep dropping the Quiet Storm remix. And I don't even want to say the remix. I really want to say the original version. Because it was so fire. They had to come back with a remix. They had to. And I don't want to even try to take uh uh Havoc out the equation because I feel like Havoc is wild underrated any fucking way, you know what I'm saying? Like the beast is already the production was fire, but I feel like Havoc was slept on too. You know what I'm saying? Real rap. And I, like as far as I'm concerned, yo, P is definitely up there with all these other niggas. And I don't care about the bullshit. Like you got that's another thing. You gotta commend these niggas for bro. They was in the middle of a lot of bullshit that had them looking wild at one point. Facts. Remember they was fucking with Littles, then Littles turned on them niggas. Then uh, uh, Lakey the Kid turned them niggas. They was like, Prodigy got robbed and all that shit. Then fuck it. Let's be serious, bro. Like, the true life situation was wild. Let's be serious. It was, they didn't even want to talk about it. It was wild. Then fucking the, the Jay-Z shit. And let's be serious. That Summer Jam situation, let that have been any other rapper. It would have been over with. Their career would have been a rap. Like, Prodigy still came back. Come on, my nigga, when Snoop kicked the fucking building down, who was the first niggas to respond? Let's be serious, bro. So as far as it's, it's mom deep hip-hop legends, bro, they big, they nigga. And here's the thing. I didn't 
didn't rock with them when they was with G Unit. I'm not even gonna hold you. You know what I'm saying? Cause I knew it was gonna be some commercial shit and I wasn't gonna go out like that. I'm a heavy Mob Deep fan. Same way I fuck with Dipset, I fuck with Mob Deep. So it was like I wasn't gonna go out like that. I heard a couple of tracks. Even that shit they did with 112 was hype. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we like, come on, son. Come on, son. Like this nigga Prodigy has thrown shots at so many niggas, he don't give a fuck. And this nigga's only like four foot something, bro. You niggas gotta show Prodigy props, bro. Like, what's your favorite Prodigy? What's your top three Mob Deep song? Fuck that shit. I'm gonna be real with you, bro. Do you niggas fucking listen to that Killers theme with Cormega? We gonna kill you. That's right. What? Son, stop playing with me, son. Stop fucking playing with me, son. That, keep it thorough, quiet storm, they have nighttime folks. They got so much shit, bro. Like, like, the commercial shit that everybody knows. Like, I like all the other shit that be on the albums and shit. Like, they skits was dope when they was fucking, uh, all you rappers out there talking about how high you get and how much weed you smoke, no other space, that shit. Don't even speak to me. When you see me fuck around, start punching you niggas in the face for breathing the shit. That's when Killer, that's when he had to beef with Keith Murray, and Keith Murray ran up on, like, bro. It ain't just, okay, they had a couple of hot songs. Like, bro, these niggas been in this shit for years. Like, niggas gotta wake up. Even if you wasn't around in 93, 95, now you wasn't listening, you gotta understand, that was the era where they, it depended on what the fuck you said up north. Like, niggas like, we ain't gonna fuck up the beats and shit like that. It was about what you said. And what they, like, they, they was always just wild, grimy. You knew what it was. You had shit on your whole fucking demeanor fucking change. You might be a nerd with a pocket protector and a, and a fucking Where's Waldo fucking persona and shit and hear that shit and, and add a little step to your shit. You might ice grill nigga too or something like that, bro. Like, that's how real it is with Mom Deep. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, this shit is real sad to me. I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I remember where I was at when Pac died. I remember where I was at when Big died. But it's just like, P? The difference is, everyone else who passed did not have extensive bodies of work. Like, P, like, there's so much shit out here with P that is crack. That's fire. It's just like, this is tough right here, man. This is fucking tough. So if I was you niggas, I'd bump some Mob Deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to everybody in Queensbridge. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Mike DeLorean, we had him on the show. Shout out to him. Like, bro, shit. Bro. Come on, remember the bars and hooks? We going dumb. Even they was beefing with them. So it's not even like like battle rap. Like, like I ain't battle. I'm tripping out. Hip-hop is really prodigy. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't just about making music. He's in the streets with this shit. His whole life is on DVD and shit. It's, it, he ain't just a regular nigga and shit. He ain't just a regular rapper. We ain't just lose a regular nigga. That's where I'm coming from. So all I want to say, rest in peace of Prodigy, man. Like, what's your favorite, your top five uh, Mob Deep songs, man? Jesus. Bandana P. Come on, man. Shank Musketeer, Face Carpenter. Stop playing with me, bro. Come on, bro. Stop playing with me. He ain't hide the fact that he had sickle cell. None of that shit, bro. None of that shit, man. Shit's sad, man. Let me know what you think, man. Let me know what you think, man. Shout out to the whole Queensbridge, man. Lost the real one, bro. Everyone talk about Nas and Jay-Z and everybody else. Like, bro, this nigga had his own language. No, he didn't rap like no one else. Yet he made words up in certain songs that didn't even fuck. Don't even make sense. Shank Musketeer. Face Carpenter. This is what this nigga brought to hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? Hey, from the fuck up, I'm out of here, one.